Welcome to our interview series, We Choose to Thrive, brought to you by Becky Norwood of The Woman I Love. We bring you stories of survivors who have chosen to heal, to thrive. If you are an abuse survivor and are starting or continuing your healing journey, these stories will provide hope, inspiration, and a knowingness that you are not alone. Join us in today's interview. Well, it still had an impact on your of life. Of course, yeah, it did, yeah. Yeah. So how has it impacted your life? Um, you know, I think mostly trust. I think it made me look, here's somebody who's supposed to be on my side. You know, my big brother, he's supposed to be protecting me and, you know, doing all that, and here he is harming me. Also, nobody intervened, and that kind of messed up my my trust also. It's a huge trust issue, isn't it? It really is, yeah. So how did you begin down the path of healing? What did you do to start healing? You know, it's interesting. For, for a lot of years, I thought it wasn't affecting me. I thought, you know, this, this happened, my gosh, terrible things happen to other people. This wasn't that bad. This is no big deal. So I didn't try to heal for a long time because I didn't think I had anything to heal from. And, you know, as I got older, I realized I had all these trust issues. I, I wasn't opening up to people. And, you know, I started reading and I started to realize this is in part because of what happened. So I started to read more and I just started to say out loud, this happened and I need to address it and, you know, get over it and get my life back. You mentioned that at one point you told your family. And I did. That was only two years ago. Wow. I know. <laughs> and I was, I was very unsure about doing it. Um, you know, my brother has since died and I didn't know what kind of effect this was going to have on my siblings, but I did tell them and they were shocked. They were also very supportive. So thankfully so. Yes, yeah. And did that, heal, that help in your healing process? It really did. You know, my oldest sister, she's, she is the oldest in the family. She was just so torn apart by it because she felt like she had failed. She was everybody's big sister. Mm -hmm. And she had failed to protect me. And, and knowing that she felt like that, not that I wanted her to feel bad, but it restored something back in me that, you know, she didn't know, but she would have done something had she known. It, it does make a big difference, doesn't it? Yeah, it really does. Such an important facet. So what do you think has been, other than telling your family and kind of coming to terms with it, what has been the most positive thing that you've done for yourself to, to overcome this? How has that, that positive thing you've done affected your life now since you've come to terms with this? I think accepting that I did nothing wrong. Mm -hmm. For a lot of years, I thought, you know, I should have stopped him. I should have said no. I, I did say no, but it still happened. And for years, I was like, you know, it's kind of my fault. I should have been more, no, you know, don't do this. And I realized how cute all that was as I started to read more and more on the subject. And I think that knowing it wasn't my fault and I did nothing wrong, that allowed me to accept myself again as being a decent person. Started believing in yourself? Mm-hmm. Because you've got a BA and you're working towards your master's? Yes, I am. Yeah. Master's in communication, all of my BAs in biology. Wonderful. <laughs> are you doing that online or are you going off to it? I'm going to do it online. Family, is everybody on board with, you know, the changes with you and support it that way? Yes, they are. Good. So what word of, words of wisdom do you care to share with um, those that are just starting out, just coming to that awareness that things are not working right and we need to and get down to the bottom? What words of wisdom would you share? That there is a way past it. Accept that it happened. Accept that you had no control over it. You did nothing wrong. 
find the good in yourself and talk to somebody. If you need professional help, get professional help. Excellent advice. Very good. Okay. And is there any particular resources that you used that um, you could recommend to somebody? I read uh, Courage to Heal. Okay. Yeah, and that that was really a huge help to me because it. I think hearing other people's stories makes you really feel less isolated. Mm -hmm. And that's another reason I want to be a part of this. This story was brought to you by The Woman I Love at www.thewomanilove.com. If you are starting down the path to healing, no matter what stage, our united message is that you are not alone. We do not want to live with a victim mentality. We choose to thrive, and as such, we are joining hands to spread the message that you too can heal and thrive. Will you join us as a force of change we need in our world? Only by healing, growing strong, and uniting can we create the awareness of this terrible epidemic that is plaguing our world. We heal in many different ways. There is no one right way to heal, but the right thing to do is to heal. Heal for yourself, for your families, and for our world. Will you join us in this We Choose to Thrive revolution? Reach out to us at www.thewomanilove.com. Also check out the incredible resources at www.rainn.org. And if you are actively facing abuse in this moment, do not delay. Seek out help in your local community immediately. Here is to your wellness, healing, and thriving.